hi there welcome to this tutorial video in today's video i'm going to show you how to ingest data from google cloud storage accounts to BigQuery for analysis therefore let's get started i am currently in the console.cloud.google.com and of course i'm using this free version now i've got a bucket in my storage account which is called sales 010 now to access your buckets, your storage account, you can click on this navigation menu and then you can come at the bottom here and search for the storage account and then click on the bucket. You're going to land on this page. Alternatively, you can use the search bar to search for your bucket and then you're going to see your bucket. If you have no bucket, you're going to see blank space here. Now you can click on this create to create a bucket. So I've got a video that you can always watch that on my channel. Now, in my case, I've got this sales 101 bucket, and in the bucket, I've got this sales from GCS to Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool. So, basically, this is the sample data set in the CSV file. I've got the date, product, payment type, unit, price, and the sales amount. So, I'm going to go back and then we will create the connection to the data set for analysis in the BigQuery. I'm going to come back to this console.cloud.google.com, and then I can click on this navigation menu. And then I can click on BigQuery. Alternatively, I can use the search bar and search for BigQuery. And then we're going to see this search result, BigQuery. It allows you to understand your data using a fully managed, highly scalable data warehouse with built in ML. So click on BigQuery. And I'm going to land on this editor. Now we can see to the left hand panel, we have the BigQuery Studio, data transfers, schedule queries and so on and of course we have the explorer now in the explorer we can see we have the project this is called command tone so this is my project and of course we have this welcome to BigQuery studio and then we can you know, click on get started and so on but let's just focus on the main task now first we'll create a data set so i'm going to click on this vertical ellipses and i'm going to say create data set and then i'm going to give this data set a meaningful name let's just call it demo sales data and then i can choose the location for this project this is going to be in multi-region and of course that's fine and of course i'm going to click on create data sets and there we go we have this demo sales data and of course that's fine now in the data set we need to create a table so again i'm going to click on this ellipsis the vertical ellipsis and then i'm going to click on create table now in the table i'm going to choose the create table from now we'll create a table from our google cloud storage account so i'm going to choose gcs and of course i can specify the data from my gcs bucket now i can click on this browse button and then i'm going to see this sales 101 the same thing we have here the name of the bucket so i'm going to choose that double click and of course we're going to see this sales from gcs to azure data link csv file and of course that's the same thing so click on that i can rename this but i'm just going to give it or use the same name click on select and that's done and this going to turn to a green check mark lovely and then we can choose the file format now we can choose the comma separate the value or the json l we can choose the avro parquet or rc and so on we want to go with the comma separate the value so we we'll to come to the destination now the destination is going to be our project so i can easily you know create or use another project but i want to go with this project the destination is going to be in the demo sales data data set we just created and then we can give this a meaningful name let's just call it sales data and that's fine so i'm going to scroll down and then for the table type i'm going to choose external table and of course we're going to see region dual region gcs buckets are recommended for the external table so i'm just going to go on now for the schema i want to click on auto detect the schema so i'm going to place a check mark here so schema will be automatically detected and of course that's going to make my life much easier and then for the advanced options i'm going to click on that and i'm going to scroll down a little bit for the number of errors allowed now i'm going to set that to zero so we don't want to allow any errors now for the field delimiter this is going to be a comma separated delimiter and then for the quoted character we're going to choose none and then for the errors of course we have the errors in the row number one so i'm going to put in one there and then we're going to leave everything as it is so click on create table okay so the table has been created and i can double click and i can see the structure the schema of my data set i've got the date product payment type unit price and the sales amount the same thing we've got here which is amazing so we've been able to ingest the data into the 
big query for analysis. And I, I can even come to these details. Now, in the details, I can see the table ID, I can see the created date and time, last modified date, table expiring never, location in United States, and case incentive to force. And then I'm going to scroll down for the external data configuration. We can see the source URL. And then we can see the auto detect schema, which is true, and so on. Now, we've been able to connect to the data set in the BigQuery. Amazing. Now, I want to go ahead and query this data. So, I'm going to click on this for the sales data table. Click on this ellipsis, and then we can query. Now, we can choose to query in the Python notebook or data canvas, but I want to query in the editor, the studio. So, click on that, and then we're going to see this select. Now, this is just going to give you some syntax. So, let's want to select all the rows. So, I want to select all the rows from the sales underscore date table and then we can use this limit so let's just say we want to see all the 10 records i can go on and select and then i can click on the run and then i can see the data set oh amazing i'm going to close this panel for now and i can close this panel for now okay so basically we can see our data set we have the date the product the payment type unit price and the sales amount what about if we want to see all the records where the payment type is equal to Visa card? I can get rid of this limit 10 and I can use the where clause so I can see where payment type is equal to inside single code Visa card and I can click on the wrong to run the query. And there we go. So we can see all the records where the payment type is equal to Visa card. And that's how we can easily perform this analysis in the BigQuery. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.